To watch the Canadian version of Netflix from other countries, it's actually very simple. First thing we need to do is to open our web browser and you want to go to netflix.com. From here, you want to click on the sign in button in the top right hand corner and then you want to sign into your Netflix account. In this example, I'm going to use my NordPass password manager, which you can get with the link in the description below. Once you've signed in and selected your profile, you can now minimize Netflix. From here, we just need to get a VPN, also known as a virtual private network. This is going to trick Netflix into thinking we are from another country, so we can access geoblocked content. The VPN we are going to be using today is called Private Internet Access VPN, and you can get it with the link in the description below. Once you've got Private Internet Access, you want to click on the VPN Server option, and then you want to search for the Canadian VPN Server. Once you've done this, you want to select the one with the least latency. In this case, it's going to be Canada, Ontario. So you want to click on that, and then you want to click on the power button in the middle of the screen, and after a few seconds, the VPN server will connect. Now it's going to be as if you're browsing the internet from that country. So now we are connected, we can minimize the VPN, and we can go back to our Netflix application, and we can refresh the page. After a few seconds, it will successfully refresh, and you will now be browsing the Canadian version of Netflix. And to prove this, I want to go to the My Location webpage. And here, as you can see, I'm currently in the United Kingdom. However, if I refresh the page, it's now going to update and it's going to think I'm in Canada. So if we go back to Netflix, we can go ahead and start watching Canadian movies just as we normally would. And that's it. So to remember to use the link in the description to sign up for private internet access. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass on to someone who may find it helpful as well. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.